Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Bierman here. I had a great time yesterday doing a big Zoom meeting with some of my second graders. It was so good to see them um, and see their faces and hear their voices. And today I can't wait to do the same thing with first grade. And I know not everyone is able to make it at certain times or has the capability to do the Zoom meetings. So I am going to do a two video that you can watch in case you missed the meeting and would like to join us for this Easter art project. So all you'll need to do this is a white sheet of paper and something to color with. Now, some optional things that you might want are maybe a black Sharpie or some sort of black marker. Um, I used crayons and watercolor paint, but you're welcome to use anything that you have at home. I'm going to quickly show you how to do a couple different things. I'm going to show you how to draw a bunny and a chick. And you can also use this part oval shape to do an Easter egg. If the chick or bunny aren't appealing to you, you can certainly just do an Easter egg. So I'm going to do everything upside down so that when you look at it, it should be right side up for you. So I'm gonna go step by step with the bunny and then step by step with the chick. And then I'll show you a couple things you can do for the background and then that's it. Then you can go ahead and create your own or follow along. So if you're, if you're looking here, um, at my paper, I'm going to have you start about two fingers from the left and about two fingers from the right. And you're going to go ahead and create that half oval or half circle shape on your paper. Okay. And then we're going to do the ears next. So for the bunny ears, I'm going to add kind of a backward C curve on one side, but I stretched it out. I almost went up to the top of my paper, but you can make yours smaller if you wanna see more background. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do a stretched out forwards C curve. And I'm gonna just round it at the top so my bunny doesn't have super pointy ears. I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside for the inside part of the ear that I can add a different color to. Now for the ear on the right hand side, I'm going to show you how to make it look like it's flopped over a little bit. So I start off the same way by doing a stretched out C curve. But when I get to the top, I'm going to bring it over into a curve. So it's kind of like a staff or a candy cane curve. And then I'm going to curve it back up to the top. So on, from my angle, it kind of looks like a cursive E. Then I'm going to close it off with a stretched out backwards C curve, and I'm going to just touch where that flopped over ear hits. Okay, so if you want to do that, you can, or you can just do another ear exactly the same way. I am going to put the inside of the ear on this one as well. And then the face is completely up to you. So I'm going to start with my ovals for eyes. You can finish these eyes however you want to. You can do crazy eyes, googly eyes. You can do pretty eyes with eyelashes. You can do your bunny looking up or looking down to the side. Um, maybe your bunny is looking at your other paper. Maybe you're going to do a chick also. Maybe he's looking at a carrot. You can make your bunny look any way you'd like to. If you want to add more expression, you can go ahead and add some eyebrows. I'm going to add some like questioning eyebrows, like, oh, I wonder what's over there, or happy eyebrows. You can make angry ones, but I'm not sure our Easter Bunny is too angry. I'm going to add my nose in the middle. I can only see part of my little mouth, so I'm going to draw that. And then when you add whiskers, you can do really fancy whiskers and curl them or wave them or just straight lines, anything you would like. So there's the quick bunny. Um, I'm gonna move on to the chick. The chick's pretty easy. Start the same way, about two fingers on each edge of the paper. I start on one side. I bring my half oval or half circle all the way over. This one's gonna be a lot shorter. I'm going to give my um, chick some feathers on the top of his head to make him look like a little fluffy chick, but you don't have to do this. You could actually put like a bow on his on her head or give him a bow tie or whatever you'd like. Again, your chick can be looking any which way, making him or her um, look a little more feminine by adding some eyelashes if you'd like to, adding eyelids. You could add glasses. You can add any details that you would like. 
From there, I'm going to do a sideways triangle with a middle uh, line down the middle for the beak. But you can do your beak in different ways. You can do an upside down triangle. You could do an open beak, however you would like. And then I'm going to just add some curved lines for wings. So that's one way to do it. I've got my chick and my bunny looking at each other. Maybe they're in love. <clears throat> From there, I'm going to think about a background. So you've learned about all different types of lines. So think of your favorite lines, maybe zigzags, curvy, wavy, loop-de-loo, straight line, dash line, castle line, curved line, bumpy line, any types of line. I chose two types of line to put in my background. I suggest choosing one or two, but you can definitely do more. And you're just going to start by picking your favorite line. I'm going to just do a simple straight line here. And then I'm going to go into my castle line. I know I'm kind of doing this backwards. You would probably start, on, most of you would start on the left-hand side of your paper. So if I start on my left-hand side, I'm going to do a pattern straight line and then a castle line. Once I get close to my chick, I need to stop pretending I'm going through there and finish off my castle line. So just make sure you stop when you hit your chick or your bunny. And then this one's a little trickier down here at the bottom. Um, and go ahead and finish that off. Do that for your background and you're all set. You can choose whatever kind of lines you want. Keep them exciting, keep them simple, but fill it up with a couple different types of line. And then when you go to add color, you can do a pattern with color if you'd like to. You could do all the colors of the rainbow or the color wheel and fill it up in an interesting way, all the way down. It looks really neat when it's all done if you fill up the whole paper with color. So if I look at this guy, all the background is filled up and I left my bunny white. So my bunny really pops. But you can color your bunny brown or gray or yellow or orange or any color you'd like. Same thing with your chick. I used watercolors for my chick because the area was so big. The watercolors filled it in quicker. I also used watercolors for the background of this. Um, anybody had any questions about doing an egg shape? Let's see if I have an extra sheet of paper here. If instead you just wanted to do an Easter egg shape, you could do that. Um, you can help it look rounded by adding curved lines instead of um, straight lines. And you can decorate your Easter egg however you like. And then you can do the pattern in the background if you'd like to. So there is the quick art project in case you missed it for the Zoom class yesterday. But have fun. Go ahead and create some sort of Easter art if you'd like to. And if you don't hear from me before next week, have a happy Easter on Sunday. Enjoy the beautiful day that's out there today. And I'll see you soon, hopefully. Love you and miss you, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.